the inner turmoil of the nations is precursor to some great spiritual and cultural change. The great war of Europe was an apocalypse. It has annihilated the old world order in nearly every dimension. Nature is now creating a new Adam and a new world to suit him in the depths of life, from the ashes of culture and civilization, and we can see a vague glimpse of this in the writings of Einstein. Before the term quantum mechanics had been coined, Iqbal understood Einstein's theory of relativity as an opportunity for religion and science to find common ground. This new world Einstein was describing mirrored the one Iqbal had been waiting for. It was an opportunity to take a deeper look at what had gone unquestioned for centuries. In his writing, he says, Classical physics has learned to criticize its own foundations. As a result of this criticism, the kind of materialism which it originally necessitated is rapidly disappearing. Iqbal shared Einstein's assertion that the highest achievements of science came from a cosmic religious feeling of the universe. This humble appreciation of the mystery of one's own being was a feeling Iqbal believed the modern world had begun to lose. The only way to preserve this mystery in one's own life was through love, more than a mere emotion, but as a mystical force, as Rumi had also described. Love, as an active awareness, gives vision to our world and infuses human action with a higher purpose. Beyond the stars, there are other worlds. Beyond the heavens, there are still more worlds. The test of love goes beyond all of these worlds. You only exist in so far as you love. If you do not love, you do not exist.